Hello, my name is Zerfan and I'm part of the mastermind faculty for math. And today I will be solving a question on quadratic word problems. Now this question that you can see on the screen is from the IGCSC math paper from October, November session of 2017. This is question number nine from that paper. Let's take a look at it. Luigi and Edo run in a 10 kilometers race. Luigi's average speed was X kilometers per hour. Alfredo's average speed was 0 0.5 kilometers slower than Luigi. Luigi's average speed. So that makes his speed X minus 0 0.5 kilometers per hour. He's slower than Luigi. Therefore, the speed will be 0 0.5 lesser than Luigi's speed. That's why it's X minus 0 0.5. Now part A says that Luigi took 10 upon X hours to run the race. Write down an expression in terms of X for the time that Alfredo took to run the race. <clears throat> now time is calculated by the formula distance upon speed. Now since the distance is 10 kilometers, the race is of 10 kilometers, and Alfredo's speed is x minus 0 0.5. This basically results in the expression for Alfredo's speed, 10 upon x minus 0 0.5. Now part B says, Alfredo took 0 0.25 hours longer than Luigi to run the race. Show that the equation that results from this statement uh, it reduces to 2x squared minus x minus 40 equals 0. Now for that, we need to first translate this statement into math. Now it says Alfredo took 0 0.25 hours longer than Luigi. And we already have the expressions for both Alfredo and Luigi. Now Alfredo's speed, Alfredo's <clears throat> time was 10 upon x minus 0 0.5, which is 0 0.25 hours longer than Luigi, which is 10 upon x. Let's take the LCM. The LCM over here will be x, so 0 0.25 will also get multiplied by x. This will become 0 0.25x plus 10, the whole thing upon x. And over here, I have 10 upon x minus 0 0.5. Now, the next step would be to cross multiply these, the denominators on the other sides. That would result in 10 times x equals x minus 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.25x plus 10. Now, if you like, you can also convert these decimals into fractions because sometimes for some people dealing with and multiplying the addition subtraction with decimals get tend to get overwhelming. You can easily convert it to fractions that is also allowed. So I'm continuing the working over here and with fractions this time. So 10x equals to x minus 1 upon 2 and on the other side is 1 upon 4x plus 10. 0 0.5 becomes 1 upon 2 in fractions and 0 0.25 becomes 1 upon 4 in fractions. Let's expand these. So x I will in order to expand it I will first take this term and multiply it with this whole bracket and then take 1 upon 2 and multiply it with this bracket. So x times 1 upon 4, x plus 10 minus 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 4, x plus 10. And on the left side, we have 10x. Now this expands to 1 upon 4, x squared plus 10x minus 1 upon 8x plus it's actually minus, plus into minus is a minus. 10 upon 10 times one upon two is five. And on the left side, we still have 10x. 
Now I'm going to shift this 10x on the right side, which will result in one upon four x squared plus 10x and a minus 10x because this 10x came on the right side. We have one upon eight x minus five equals to zero. Now plus 10x minus 10x will cancel out. They'll become zero. And the equation that will result in is this, one upon four x minus one upon eight x minus five equals to zero. Now my next step would be to make the denominators the same. Over here we have one, here we have eight and four. So in order to make the denominators the same, I would take the LCM for it. So one, four and eight has an LCM of eight. It would remain as one, this will turn into. So now this equation will become two X squared minus X minus one X minus well, five eights of 40. This will also be multiplied by eight. 40 upon eight. That's important to still show eight in the denominator so far. And this eight will go on the other side and multiply with the zero and will obviously become zero. And therefore, my final answer reduces to 2x squared minus x minus 40. And that's exactly what it wanted me to show in the question. Now the part, now that part one of part B is complete. Let's move on to part two. <clears throat> now it wants us to solve this equation that we just reduced. And we have to use the quadratic formula for it. The quadratic formula is x equals to minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4ac whole thing upon 2 times a. <clears throat> now where, where do these a, b and c come from? Let me show you. Now the equation that we have so far is 2x square minus x minus 40 equals zero. This equation is in the format of a x squared plus b x plus c. Whereby, where, therefore, a becomes two, b becomes, well, minus one. The absence of coefficient with x means that there is a one as the coefficient and C becomes minus 40. So let's write down A is two, B is minus one, and C is minus 40. Now this is what we're going to place in the quadratic formula. So X equals minus minus one plus minus square root of so it says b squared, so that's minus one squared, minus four times a is two, and c is minus 40. The whole thing upon two a, that's two times two. Let's continue on this side. So x equals minus times minus is a plus one plus minus the square root of one minus, oh sorry, this whole thing will become four two zero eight, eight four zero thirty two, so that becomes 320. So that's one minus minus plus 320 in the square root, the whole thing upon four. Now the plus and the minus over here will separate the rest of the working in two parts.
the plus side and the minus side will separate from here. So x equals to one plus the square root of 321 upon four and the minus sign will come over here one minus the square root of 321 upon four. And then we can solve these in, uh, in a calculator because it's a paper two question, the calculators are allowed. So, on the plus side, we're getting 4.71, 4.73 in fact. And on the minus side, we are getting minus 4.23. Now these are our answers, 4.73 and minus 4.23. That solves part two as well. Let's look at part three. Part three says, work out the time that Luigi took to run the race, the 10 kilometers race. Give your answer in hours and minutes, correct to the nearest minute. Now we already have the expression for Luigi's time. We have it from here. Luigi took 10 upon X hours. Now it's obvious the X was the average speed. The value of X is at the average speed of, for, for Luigi. So we already know that we cannot use the negative value because a speed cannot be negative. We have to use the positive value of X, which means that we will be using the four, value 4.73. And we have the expression for Luigi's time, which is 10 upon X hours. And we'll use the value of X that we just found out, 10 upon 4.73. Let's find it out using a calculator. Well, the answer is 2.11 hours, but they want us to give our answer in hours and minutes, correct to the nearest minute. So let's convert the 0 0.11 because two, for hours we have two, it has two hours. Now let's convert the 0 0.11 into minutes for that, we will have to multiply it with 60. Well, the answer for that is 6.6 .6 minutes and the nearest minute will become seven. So two hours and seven minutes is the complete time taken by the VD. That completes this question. I hope you all understand this. Thank you for watching this video.